Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to World of Warships Legends, and welcome to my unbelievable suffering. Uh, thank you to Sabaton, if you guys don't know, uh, I will leave a link to their uh, music video for the Bismarck down in the description as a, uh, you know, homage to them, obviously it's their music. I did not receive a uh, permission to use that, so I will likely receive a copyright claim. So you're welcome. Uh, darn Bismarck strikes again. Anyway, so we're gonna get right into it. You guys already know the deal. We have one question to ask. Is Bismarck in 2024? <laughs> you guys know I can't help but troll y'all. I hate this ship. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I will take the Bismarck B over this thing any day of the week. No matter how many times they buff this ship, it's just never been that ship for me it never seems to have fun in this ship and part of that is because every single time i take it out i'm against carriers and destroyers and there's just nothing i can do about it this thing has about i would be better off if i if i was actually able to get out on the deck pull out a glock and shoot at the planes maybe maybe just pick up something on the deck and wing it at the plane i don't know whatever it would be i would be better off using that than just watching the AA of the ship try to shoot down a biplane. Anyway, welcome. Welcome, everybody. But let's be serious for a moment. What is it that I don't like about the Bismarck? And it is just the fact that it's so freaking inconsistent. Like, it can be very good in certain situations, and we're going to showcase some of those situations soon. But we have to get left alone. And as you can see, the carrier is on the other side of the map right now. So, we don't have to worry about the AAA if the carrier's not going to f*** with us, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, you guys do not know the amount of suffering. Oh my god, hello. Hold, hold that thought. Got out. Oh, uh, maybe? Question mark? Beautiful. We'll take those. Anyway, you guys do not understand the amount of suffering that I went through for you people. Alright? 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 Let's just put this- I'm gonna break it down for you and make you feel my suffering, okay? Here's what it is, alright? You guys will probably be like, well, pardon you that don't know how to play the Bismarck. Oh, I've got plenty of games in the Bismarck B that showcase otherwise. I can play the Bismarck. I can't play this Bismarck, okay? I don't know what it is, between the Bismarck B and this, supposedly it's just a little bit of secondary range, but I'm telling you, I'll take the Bismarck B out and have a great game immediately. I take this thing out of port and all I end up with is pain and suffering. <laughs> That's what it is. You think I'm joking. I'm not joking. You guys have no idea what I went through this morning. Let's put it into perspective. I got a game in the Richelieu. The Veneto. The Zeton. The, uh... The, 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 the other ships. Alright? I got a game in all of those. Very quickly. I could not get a goddamn game in this ship to save my life. I hate this ship. Every time I take it out of port, I just feel the pain and the suffering begin. And then it just keeps going and going and going. That's why I prefer the Bismarck B. Bismarck B, sexy ship. I even changed the camo thinking maybe the Bismarck was mad at me because I had the goofy Halloween camo on this thing. So I'm like, fine. You want that? I'm going to turn you into the rust bucket that you are. The only thing missing on this ship is like the fact that when it fires its guns, it should be shooting octopi out the cannons. All right? This is a coral reef of a ship. Nobody likes this ship. <laughs> right now, there are so many angry commenters. Calm down. It's okay. Not everybody has good taste in ships. I get it. It's okay. But uh, we, we are going to showcase this ship in a position that it's actually quite good in. And that is one of where it doesn't get immediately focused by everybody in the lobby because they know it's easy damage. And it gets to be forgotten for a moment or two. And when that happens, something strange occurs with this ship. It's almost like this ship was made to come out of nowhere and fuck up everybody's plans. I know, crazy thought, look at history. It wasn't that it won, like, against the hood. Obviously, we don't even know that it was the Bismarck that sunk the hood. It could have been the Prince Eugen shells. Prince Eugen hit the, hit the hood, too. It could have been Prince Eugen shell. But 
It's always been assumed that it was the Bismarck, because it's a battleship, right? So it's a battleship had to have sunk the battleship hood, even though it's a battle cruiser. But what I'm saying is, it was always assumed that it was the Bismarck. And because of that, it's got a, a nasty, nasty reputation. And y'all are just all too happy to talk about it all the time down in the comments. Bismarck, this, Bismarck, that, oh my god. What I remember about the Bismarck is, yes, it was credited with the kill of the hood. And then it was immediately attacked by some World War I biplanes. It was crippled. And it sailed in circles until the entirety of the British Navy found and destroyed it. With utmost impunity. Now, watch what happens next, folks. Remember what I said about this thing is kind of like... It, it, it is made to appear from nowhere. Right? That is the whole story of this ship is that it came from the fog. A shape appeared, and out of the shape, well, the British fired first, but uh, the hood got the, or the, the Bismarck ended up scoring the hit that mattered, as far as history is concerned. So, unfortunately for the British, the Edinburgh goes down, much like the Mighty Hood. And we can all joke and, and have a good time. Like, these are historical events. I know that there were a lot of men that lost their lives. I get that. On both sides. Let's not forget. The, the hood may have died catastrophically, but the Bismarck was also sunk catastrophically thereafter. Whether it be from scuttling charges, as some like to say, or the fact that it wouldn't have mattered if it was scuttling charges or not, it was going to sink that day. Period. <laughs> But uh, as we, we we drift through the fog here and let our secondaries neuter the Asashio, now we get to uh, put the ship up against another British battleship. Now, obviously, we're going to take a torpedo here, but the goal is to take one. We take one, we put out the flooding, we keep the party rolling. Now, we're at 43,000 damage. We haven't done a lot, but we got three kills for it, and that's what matters. Right? That's all anybody cares about is kills, right? We do. We gotta get those kills. But, uh, no. They, it, this isn't about damage, okay? This is about finding a way to make a ship work. And I'll be honest, this ship, I struggle with it. Every time I take it out, I just have the worst luck in this ship. Whether it be from RNG just saying no all the time. Or whether it be the matchmaker where I'm up against five destroyers and a carrier every time and i don't care what you think you can do in the bismarck when you're up against the saipan there ain't a god darn thing you can do about it that saipan is going to have its way with you with with the he bombs and with the torpedoes and there ain't nothing you can do about it except smile and wave smile and wave boys just smile and wave <laughs> and hope that you can hold on long enough and here's a here's a kicker you can't you just can't because you're not going to shoot down enough planes and they're just going to continuously harass you. you they they will get every drop off they will get three drops or whatever it is oh my god hello monarch uh i understand that you're upset about the edinburgh sinking but uh and and, and your destroyers and and the Caracciolo, but I promise, I promise that uh, they will they will not be avenged this day, sir. <laughs> As we take all of the health off of the Monarch, because even the Bismarck can't miss, most likely at two kilometers, they're gonna struggle. But the, what hurts me the most is that this Monarch is firing HE. Like, tell me you don't know what you're doing with a ship without telling me you don't know what you're doing with a ship. Look, I even, I even disrespect him further by the way, okay, he's firing HE, I am not worried whatsoever about this guy. He's gonna die to the fires. My secondaries claim another kill, despite it not being a close quarters expert. It was the secondaries that set the fire, so it should have been a close quarters. But, beautiful shot out on the carrier, huge hit, confederate. We're up to 94,000 damage, and I am just shredding this man with secondaries. Things are going beautifully. And I'll be honest, after the night that I had with this ship, this felt real good to be able to just annihilate a, uh, a carrier. And, of course, it just happens to be a British carrier. The implacable, as they like to call it. I would call it the implacable. But, you know, whatever, to each their own. But we back up the wagon! And uh, on that bombshell, I ended the night because I was, I was not happy. 
<laughs> but you guys got a lot of great videos coming up in all the different ships of Tier 7, uh, the battleships anyway, of the Tech Trees. So I hope you guys are ready. We've got, we got some bangers out there, and this was one that I had to troll you guys with. I had to. You guys knew it was coming. You knew it. I saw y'all typing it in the comments. Y'all knew the Bismarck was coming. But uh, as you can see, I was actually in a division, or not a division, but a uh, party with, with uh, my dude Jay with, and uh, we were talking, and I, he, he had hurt my suffering for this whole time. We only ended up with 112,000 damage, but it was a Kraken, top of leaderboard, 2,800 base XP, not too shabby, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I can't wait to read all the Bismarck fanboys out there, and if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always... I will see you in the next video.